No problem. It's a tiny bow I have here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to explain to you extensions and the proper technique to make them work with any hand. I want you to pull up the partition that's linked below Fjörlis because it is essential that you know how to do the extension in order to play this song. So let's get some facts about extensions. Fact number one, the extension is always and only between the first and second finger. Always remember that. You don't extend this. You may move the hands sometimes to shift up, but the extension always happens in between these two fingers right here. Here I'm playing in the extended position right here. And as you see, my thumb and second finger and third finger and fourth finger are all still in first position. The first finger is only one that moves back. And you, all you do is you simply open it up and drop it back. From the side, here it is. You open it up and you, and you open up and you drop it back. That's all. In order to apply pressure for this, you have to have a nice straight arm right here because you're going to be rotating your hand like this. I'm going to do it from the side so you can better see that. Here you go. There it is. And I'm going to extend all the way back. And now I'm going to apply pressure. Now I'm going to do it the wrong way to show you what a lot of people do. Applying pressure is you think you're pinching. See, I'm pinching the fingers. So I'm going to do the same thing with this finger up here. Watch what happens. I'm applying pressure. I'm pinching and it's just sliding up. You can't help that. It's going to slide up. One more time. Applying pressure and I'm, I'm pinching like I'm doing with these fingers, but it's sliding up. So how do you stay in tune for that extension? You have to use a different technique and that technique is rotating the finger and you're going to play with sort of the side of the finger right here. And so let's try that together. Put your fingers in first position like this. Lift your first finger up, straighten it. And if you have a big finger, a big hand, then you don't have to do that. You can probably just curl it a little bit and drop it in that spot exactly in between the, the nut and the first tape right there. And so that is half, that will be the E flat on the D string. And now lift these three fingers up and then rotate your hand, rotate it. So it does this, you're going to rotate the wrist. That is how you apply pressure. Now let's try to do this in the context of a song. In Fury Release, you have how many flats? Not one, not two, but three flats. So get prepared for some extensions. Now the first measure is quite simple when it comes to the very beginning. And then you have your extension right here. Two, minus one, Right there, there's your extension. And you have to keep that first finger really far back as, as solid as you can be and your thumb as solid as you can be rotating back because that is how you're going to play in tune. Let's continue. Try this together. Here comes a two, play the two. Play the minus one, keeping the thumb solid in the back and then the four. Let's try that. Let's play this measure together right here. Here we go. Beginning with the pickup notes. Here's a four, three, first position. Now here comes the extended position, two on the F natural. First position, extension, go into the E flat, your finger straight and you're twisting the hand back. And then fourth finger. Which brings me to another fact about these positions. Let's zoom out a little bit. <laughs> All right. These positions are only going to work when you have really strong form on your left hand. If you have a bad form and your fingers move up and down, then you're not going to be able to play in tune. You don't have frets. They're not going to give you the notes, the cellos that you play. You're going to have to pull it from them. But when you do, they're really pretty. So your form has to be really, really solid. Your spacing in between the fingers have to be absolutely strong. So even when you lift them, they're in place. 
So that's a good technique that you can use and learn is try lifting them and put them in different places. And then with the extension, use your extension, put it in position, and then try playing like an E flat and then those two notes right there in that measure, the E flat. And if they sound good, move on and add the F natural. At beginning, you may have to do some adjustments, but at all times, your thumb is always behind the second finger, solid. Never, never move that. Your thumb is so absolutely essential in playing your instrument along the neck. I've actually made a video about that. You should watch it. I explain why it is important to keep your thumb and always in that position. And if you look a little bit further in this song, you're going to get down to a combination of what we talked about in the video prior, which is positioning and extension. So let's do that together. We're looking at measure 16 moving up. So measure 16, 17, and 18. This is where the magic happens. You see some notes. We're going to start at the end of 16. And it's all in that fuchsia colored bracket. And so the fingers have changed. That means the positioning has changed. And now what has happened? Oh my gosh, we have a one. No extension there, it's pretty easy. But then the next one in this purple bracket right here, oh, that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful, also difficult one. You see that? So you're moving to this wonderful relaxed position to an extended first position, keeping that solid as much as possible, and then remaining with that for the next part. So all together, if you were to start with me in the end of measure 16, one, two. Extend all the way back, first position, spread out those fingers like a spider. I'm playing with my little bow today. You see this little bow? Um, because it's my, it's my teaching bow. So anyway, that is what it's like to both shift and extend at the same time. I hope this was kind of clear and cleared up some things for you guys. Of course, like and subscribe. Keep asking questions. I absolutely love when questions come and come at you. You know, the cello is the most popular instrument for adults to pick up. That's what I do. I like teaching all sorts of ages, but particularly adults because you don't like to play the nursery rhymes. I like to teach you actual beautiful real music. So anyway, thanks for watching.